Hey, Eric here from 5minuteinvesting.com and today I actually just want to talk about a news article that I came across for Tesla as Tesla, you know, rallies up to around $400 and, you know, this new ar news article says that the short sellers are really really mad. So I think this is actually quite an interesting article because for a very short amount of time um, Tesla has gone from 400 something to um, even higher. Actually, this, stop, this chart is not even representative. So let me pull up my own chart and I'll show you what I mean. Now, this analysis, it's done as of today. So by now, you're actually going to see that Tesla is at a high and basically the short sellers are losing a lot of money. So I'm going to explain the rationale behind why you shouldn't short the market and you know in what situations you should short the market instead and you know how you can avoid this kind of loss in the future. So for simplicity, I'm actually going to hide all the indicators uh, I'm using so then you're not confused if you don't follow my channel that often. So you know, this is the weekly chart for Tesla. And, you know, for the longest time, it has been hovering around $300 here. So you can see in 2017, it was at around $300. And near the end of 2018, it's $300. And, you know, due to some tweets or whatever that Elon Musk post, it went down to 175 And then within, uh, you know, less than a year, Within a year, it went from 175 all the way to 480. Now, this is actually quite a significant move, and that caused a lot of short sellers to lose money. And this is very, very important because obviously, um, you know, people's hard-earned money are gone. People are complaining in disbelief on why that is even possible, and um, and I suspect this video will get a lot of negative reviews because what I'm about to say. Um, so this is really the move I'm talking about right now. And today is January 10th, 2020. So I'm recording this video literally as a high just because I see this article. Okay, so here we go. So in this article, basically it got a bunch of Twitter screenshots on how people are losing money. You know, my Tesla puts are killing me. I'm starting to lose my mind. How do you say strong, Mark? When do you think this run will end? So, you know, puts is a way of shorting the market when you think the stock is going to go down. So you buy the put and then, um, you know, if, if it goes down, you make a lot of money. So this guy obviously lost money. And this is just not too long ago. Tesla, definitely not an insane bubble stock, LL. So this guy thinks that, you know, Tesla is a bubble. And then... You know, folks, I think we might just be flat out wrong on Tesla, you know, plus 167% from the low. That's not a rebound. That's a turnaround. We can bitch and moan about all these things that are going to be wrong with the company. But the only people who care are the people reading this tweet. And then, you know, fraudulent accounting at PwC signs off Tesla financial statements as his own pearl because there is proof of the fraud in uh, PwC and Tesla and fraud greater than Enron, which took down Arthur Anderson and Peter Thiel is aware of this, uh, so on and so forth. So obviously, a lot of people are angry um, that they're losing money. Now, when you're looking at the stock market, there's always both sides to the coin. You know, there are people shorting here, there's people shorting here, there's people shorting here, there's people shorting everywhere. So people short the market all the time. And in this case, because this move is so it's drastic, um, I suppose the People who bought a put and didn't get to exit the market basically lost all their money. Now, in investing accelerator, uh, in investing accelerator, or when I teach investing, one of the first rules is actually never go against the market. And this is actually quite an important rule. And it seems plain obvious now, but it doesn't seem plain obvious back in 2019, in May, when it is at a low, because it looks like Tesla is going to go to shit. So, so how can we avoid this? What do you need to think or how do you understand the market? 
So the market is actually quite simple. You know, at the end of the day, the market thinks Tesla is going to make 100,000 cars. It makes more than that. Stock goes up. The market thinks that Tesla is going to launch product as is before. Tesla launches something, launches something revolutionary. The stock market goes up. So there is definitely an element of surprise, but then generally you can predict where that element of surprise is. So now how do you predict where the element of surprise is? Now, first you just got to very simply look at the trend. Now, this is going to be obvious to people who look at a trend, but if you look at what Tesla has been doing since 2011, look, it went from $18 to 300. And what you're telling me if you're shorting this stock is that for some odd reason, you believe that at $300 is a magic number where Tesla is no longer a good company. You only want to short a company when a Tesla, uh, when a company is no longer a good company. So very simply put, that is not true. Um, Tesla is a great company. Now it is not profitable yet. It turned a profit recently and the profit was higher than expected and which is why the stock is going up. Fine. So how could you have seen that? Now, if you know when Tesla announced their trucks and so on, um, then you have probably seen or heard of the cyber truck. And this is an amazing success due to his interesting design and, you know, the features and so on. So if you knew what the Tesla launch schedule is, like the product release dates or whatnot, then I think you should probably not sell before the product release, because obviously Tesla is going to launch an amazing product that is going to wow the market. Very simple idea that would allow you to avoid uh, you know shorting the company now another way to think about it is you know you can look at how many employees are in Tesla and right now there's 45,000 employees now what does employee really mean employee means these people are working for Tesla these people are trying to make Tesla better these people are driving Tesla's mission to you know, promote electric cars and reduce carbon footprint, so on and so forth around the world. And there's 45,000 of them. And what you're saying is these 45,000 people are wrong and this company should go down and lose a lot of its value and you know whatever these 45,000 people are doing is not worth it. So when you think about it, right, you're really playing your game against these 40,000 five uh, 45,000 people. So if you are going to short Tesla, regardless of what time it is, you better be damn sure that these 45,000 people are wrong. And these 45,000 people are very smart. And there's even more people than Lamborghini, which is kind of interesting. So um, when you are shorting the company, you're really against the company. And you need to say that, well, the company, you know, in the next year or two are not growing and they're going to go down. And to be frank, there are companies that have a downtrend. There are companies that are dying. There are companies that, you know, price goes down day by day. And I think you can start by looking for them by looking for a downtrend. You don't you don't find these company by finding something like Tesla and then you decide that, oh, uh, this magical price is the time where it turns into a downtrend. You know how many false tops there are or false false yeah, false tops there are before the stock actually change in trend. In order for a stock to actually change in trend, it actually requires a fundamental failure in the company's strategy. So unless the company's strategy is not working, the stock wouldn't have a downtrend. So that's probably something important to keep in mind. And um, the final thing is, you know, if, if you have been following Tesla and you know that Tesla is about to expand into China, that's probably a giant red flag for any short sellers there. Like China represents a huge demand, you know, represents a lot of people that can buy Tesla. And even if Tesla increases its price, it's going to be very affordable for those rich people in Tesla uh, in China. So that is going to boost demand. That's going to boost their revenue. And that's only going to further drive their profit figures up. So when you when you when you think about that, right, then you know, these are the four factors 
that is pretty obvious that you shouldn't trade again Tesla. Now, did I invest in Tesla? No, because based on my investing rules, I invest in companies with stronger levels of profitability and simply I was invested in something else instead of Tesla, so that's why I didn't invest in it. But did I short against it? Of course not. And I would never short against Tesla because it is such a strong company, is so innovative, and all of the knowledge that is generated by Tesla makes it miles ahead of other companies. So when you think about it, it's kind of suicide to think that you can short against Tesla and get away with it because you are able to time the market perfectly. So I think that is really a big assumption. So I'm not surprised that people short Tesla lose money. It only makes sense that you lose money because when you think about it, at 175 here, I'm gonna buy. So instead of sell. So, um, you know, as a short seller, um, you probably have a lot of anger that you lost money, but then hopefully this will be an important lesson to find stocks that actually truly have a downtrend and then you short those. And if you find stocks that truly have a downtrend, that are truly not performing well, that their strategy will eventually lead them to the ashes, um, I think those are great companies to short. Uh, so that is pretty much it. My name is Eric Sido, and I teach people how to invest long-term in the market and target 30% a year using a passive investing strategy. It takes around a week, an hour a week. So if you wanna learn more, you can click uh, on the link below uh, called how to get 30% in 12 months. Uh, there's a webinar where I explain what I do. And if you have questions, uh, you can actually schedule a phone consultation with me to ask some questions. And then you can of course join the full program uh, called Investing Accelerator. And that's really where you go through um, the learning curve of uh, mastering investing in a very short amount of time and there are mainly three parts to investing accelerator first you get the coaching through a video coaching program and you'll learn my strategy step by step click by click and then afterwards when you're looking for investments we have weekly group coaching calls where we go through investments and we answer any questions you have and you'll see what i'm investing you'll see what my students are investing and you will also uh, see get a second opinion on what you're investing and finally we have a Facebook community where everyone uh, shares the same strategy uh, so then you can bounce ideas off of each other so if you want to try one of the free modules of investing accelerator you can definitely click on the link below I think it's the fourth link called the free chart course so I think you'll get a lot of benefit from that and that is really the chart templates that you see right here uh, so I explain, you know, what do you need to do to read this chart and what are some of the things you need to be aware of so that you can identify the highs and lows and the trend, which will actually be quite helpful in this case if you are investing in Tesla. Um, so that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, this is a bit of a harsh video on the short sellers, uh, but I wouldn't blame them because it is quite a difficult task to short Tesla. And... Um, you know, there are winners and losers in the market. So if there is any other video you would like to see, you can leave a comment below. You can like, share, subscribe to the channel, and um, I'll see you in the next video.